Well, there's just one week to go before you have to file your taxes. So to keep you safe, we sat down with the IRS to talk about scams and the fraud that could be coming. Yep. On the way, Five Your Side investigator Jonathan Walsh has the warnings you need to know so you don't end up in trouble. Taxes are a good way to scam people. These guys from the IRS know it is easy for criminals to pretend to be IRS agents. They're counting on you to get panicked. The IRS says there are three big danger signs. Someone threatening you, someone asking you to pay immediately, and someone saying you have to pay with a particular method, like gift cards. By sounding legitimate and terrifying you, getting you in a panic and getting you to stop thinking, you don't look for those red flags. The agency reports as of June 2018, nearly 250 people in Ohio lost almost a million dollars total because of IRS impersonation scams. Criminals go where the money is, like the elderly with a nest egg, who might be too unsuspecting when someone says they're from the IRS. You see red flags, but you, you're so trusting that you give them the benefit of the doubt and you make excuses. They call college campuses. Tell people that uh, they're the IRS and that their student loans are going to be canceled. And even the guy next door. I've had a neighbor come over terrified. Um, and I had been telling them about the scam for years. These are well-educated people, very sophisticated uh, small business owners. Another thing the IRS wants to clear up <coughs> is whether or not they'll pick up a phone and contact you. The IRS may call you. You may have heard the IRS is never going to call you. That's not true. But they will not threaten you with deportation, home foreclosure, arrest, and... IRS agent talking about your case is never going to say, now give me your uh, account information or give me your credit card number. You also have to watch out for who prepares your filings. And they said, we can give you a large refund. That is a red flag, especially if they haven't looked at your tax situation. If the preparers either make mistakes or try to illegally get more money for your return. Whether you knew or didn't know, you're still on the hook. Correct, because you signed the tax return. In Ohio, the IRS indicted more than 10 people this year for filing false tax returns. They inflate their income so that they're able to collect on the earned income tax credit and they make up that income. I'm five on your side. <laughs> Investigator Jonathan Walsh.